Let's take a closer look at the ACR7000 and IPA hardware. Here we see the front of the ACR7000 servo. There are two Ethernet ports. There's a motion enable input which takes 24 volts. The status LED, if it's green it's on, if it's off there's no power. There's 24 volt control power input. The I.O. connectors are 26 pin high density and you've got one for every two axes. The motor encoder input connectors are 15 pin high density female connectors. The motor input power are 24 to 48 volts. The motor connectors are on the bottom of the 7000 controller. You've got the three motor phases plus the ground. The brake output is the other two pins on there. Note the 7000 servo actually will power the brakes directly. Previous generation products were always a uh, brake relay. This actually will supply 24 volts output when the drive is enabled for any failsafe brakes. The 7000 servo and controller have a enable input on the front. This is 5 to 24 volt input. Pulling these will in immediately kill all motion and disable all drives. It won't stop the programs from running, but if the program commands a new move while this is on, then the motion program will halt. Other programs could still be running and an error recovery program can be um, programmed to monitor this. When the enable input is pulled, it sets the axis kill all motion request flag and sets the kill on all the masters, which are the interpolators. The DACs are forced to zero and the step pulse generation is blocked. This is a similar design as the previous generation ACR9000. The 7000 servo has the 26 pin uh, general purpose I.O. connectors. There is 12 general purpose digital inputs. The 8 axis will be double that, uh, 24. There is 8 high speed trigger inputs for encoder capture. If you're not using them, then you can use them as general purpose inputs. There is 12 digital outputs for the 4 axis. 8 axis would be 24. There is uh, 2 analog inputs, one per each uh, pair of axes, well, 12 bit resolution. The axis encoder has a standard quadrature encoder input. Will also support uh, BIS C with the uh, P series motors. Um, it's the same pinout as the IPA and the previous generation Aries and VIX drives. The auxiliary encoder input is a 15 pin high density connector that can be used for a line speed encoder for gearing or camming type applications. There's also now two high speed trigger inputs on there for doing encoder capturing. They are fully compatible with NPN type circuitry so if you take an input and just connect it to ground the current flows from the 24 volt internal pull up out the input to ground so if you just uh, jumper it to ground that will activate the input so that's how the inputs work. The digital outputs sync to ground so when they turn on the output will switch to ground internally to the controller. Note the uh, general purpose turn on and off times are much faster than the, uh, the 7000 controller. The 7000 servo I.O six inputs on the first pins and then the uh, high speed inputs on the next four pins. You've got the four digital outputs and then the 24 volts. There's an analog input on uh, pins 20 and 21 and then you also have a 5 volt output on pins 22 and 23. All the grounds are tied together uh, between the connectors as well too so they're all uh, tied to the same ground. 